At my atelier, we just had final critiques. You take all of the work that you've made during those 10 weeks and seeing all of your work together is really great because it really becomes obvious what your strengths and weaknesses are. And then also you put your work in order too. So um, it's really great that you can really uh, see the progression that you've made. And I was talking with one of my friends who um, just started Ravenswood and he was getting all of his work together for critique and he was saying that it's really incredible um, the progress that someone can make uh, with just 10 weeks and I definitely think that's true. I think ateliers are great because they're just focused on teaching technique for painting and drawing and while they are really intense you do get really good results really really fast. So for my final critique I showed my final figure drawing, my final cast drawing, my first figure painting, my first cast painting, an in-progress cast painting, my finished master copy, an in-progress master copy, and then all of my little pencil drawings. So this trimester was really a transition from drawing into painting. And Matt and Magda, our instructors at Ravenswood, said that sometimes a person's first painting can be just a disaster. Uh, but they said I handled it pretty well. And, um, well, Matt said that I'm not particularly unhappy with it, which I guess that's positive, so I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. There's still a lot more that I wanted to do with it, but I just need more experience with this type of painting to know how to do what I want to do with it. And looking at both figure drawing and my figure painting, they said what I should really pay attention to is the moving limbs, especially the arms. And since we draw from life for five weeks for the figure drawings, um, if someone has their arm up, it's going to be moving and shifting throughout those five weeks. So they said what I do well is I get the connection between the wrist to the elbow works really well, and the elbow to the shoulder work really well, and then the shoulder connecting into the chest work well. But as the arm as a whole um, could be stronger, which I know when I am working on arms and they're shifting and moving, you do have to piecemeal it a bit because the arm's probably never going to be exactly in the same position, but I think I need to focus more on keep looking at the whole thing and how the whole thing relates, relates to the figure. One thing that they did not say this time is to work on gesture and proportion, and I think that is a given that you should always be working on gesture and proportion because that could always be improved upon, but um, that was something that they always, always, always said. That was a big emphasis on my last trimester was to work on gesture and proportion, but I've really, really, really been focusing on that, and I think I'm getting a lot better with that, so I'm glad that they didn't have to bring that up this time. What we did talk a lot about in this critique was my pencil drawings. They said that my pencil drawings are getting a lot stronger and looking a lot more solid. They said that um, they're becoming more three-dimensional and like space around the figures. They said that looking at all of them all together though, they could see that they looked like they were all missing the last final step to make the drawings like finished and look like there's a resolve over them. So they said um, over break it'd be really good if I copied Vanderpool to just learn how to um, finish a small pencil drawing like that. And Vanderpool, I do have his book, which is this one right here. Um, I haven't picked out the ones I want to copy because I kind of want to copy them all, but I need to just pick out a few because I know I won't have time to do every single one. But Vanderpool, here's an example of a portrait that he's done, and he has a way of making his drawings look really solid but really delicate and sophisticated at the same time. I really like this one a lot too. Um, if anyone is interested in getting this book, make sure that you get the oldest edition that you can find. This one I think was made or printed in the 20s and the reason for that is like this um, drawing. It really does look like a pencil drawing so they're really great to copy from. Um, the newer editions I've heard, um, I don't know if they changed the paper or just the way that they're printed, but the ink sits a lot heavier on the page and it looks like, um, well it looks like ink, it doesn't look like a pencil drawing. And all in all this was a really good trimester for me. So over break I plan to do a lot of copies, the painting copy and the drawing copies. Um, I want to work on little compositions for paintings that I want to do in the future. I want to write a lot and I want to read a lot and if anyone has any um, books that they really like that are on the subject of art or aesthetics or beauty or um, on the subject of painting, please let me know because I'm always looking out for stuff like that.